Oh, welcome to Phoenix Feather Friday. Where are we at? Kind of energetically with our with our collective energies and what do our angels and guides want us to know about how we can make this stuff work for us? We got the Phoenix jar. Let's pull a feather and see where things are at. I feel like I need to go kind of to the bottom here. There are so many feathers in this jar. Oh, we got a beautiful blue one piece. Okay, so I'm feeling like this week it's really important, and I want to say right now, it's really important to just take a moment, close your eyes, actually do this right now as we're talking, close your eyes and ask what part of your body needs peace. And then notice what you notice. Your attention could be drawn to your knees or your feet. It could be drawn to your heart. It could be drawn to your head. It might be drawn to an area where you've been feeling some pain. And now I want you to breathe in this beautiful blue feather energy into that space and allow that color to expand. We often think, as you're doing this, I'm going to keep talking. We often think that peace is um, a bit elusive. It's like it's something that we have to seek. It's something we have to find outside of ourselves. But as is with everything, we have all of the resources with, within us that we need. And I feel like this message of peace is coming up and coming through. You can open your eyes now whenever you feel ready. Um, peace is coming through to remind us of that. It's not so elusive. It's how are we choosing it? Are we asking for it? Are we seeking it out? Do we know how to access it in our lives? This simple little technique, and I love that it's on this beautiful blue feather because you can use this color. You can kind of like draw it into you. And if you're not visual in the ways that you experience things, just know that peace is coming into your body. It's, it's coming into those spaces when you're bringing attention or bringing awareness to those spaces. It's all about intention. So choose peace today through setting the intention that you're going to explore where you experience peace. I also feel like this week, it's really important to understand that mm, if you are not in a peaceful space within yourself, others are going to feel that and they're going to respond accordingly. Um, if you've ever been in a, you know, in a, a work type situation with someone who's overly anxious, there's always this feeling of, okay, so-and-so is going to be coming into the, into the meeting. <sighs> I need to breathe because I, you know, when I, whenever I sit next to her, I feel the anxiety. Understand that when you bring peace, if you're being affected by that person, it's very likely that that person could be affected by you. So be aware of what you are accessing, what you are bringing to the table, as it were. I feel like that's a really important message. All right, guys, that's our Phoenix Feather Friday for this week. As always, sending you so much love. I hope you transform well. If you like more of this stuff or you're struggling with some of your transformations, consider checking out my Tools for Transformation Ignite Your Wings membership community. We do all sorts of fun stuff related to energy, readings, channelings, clearings, uh, affirmations, meditations, bonus content. The list goes on and on and on. It's a great resource, a great way to feel supported through these energetic shifts. So I hope to see you there. Take care and transform well.